a few years ago, our then seven-year-old son, Josh, announced out of the blue, I want to go to Hooters. <laughs> Figuring he would forget about that request in about 10 months, his dad flippantly answered, maybe for your birthday we can go to Hooters. <laughs> His dad and I joked with one another about what kind of RSVPs we would get <laughs> if we sent out birthday invites to all Josh's friends. Please join us at Hooters as we celebrate our son's eighth birthday. <laughs> According to my husband, all the dads would definitely be bringing their kids to that party. <laughs> we both rolled our eyes. We thought that was the end of it. Stupid us. <laughs> About three months before our son was to turn eight, I was driving Josh past a Hooters and he intently peered out of the window of the car and announced, I see the Hooters. <laughs> I see them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a man in there. I bet he has man boobs. <laughs> what? Did my seven-year-old just say man boobs? Where did he pick that up? I'll admit, we've, you've, we've used the term man purse on occasion, but man boobs? Um, no. I didn't respond. I figured the less I gave it attention, the less likely he would, be, he would be using the expression again. I also figured we had three more months to, for him to forget about going to Hooters for his birthday. Guess what? <laughs> that kid of ours has a mind like a steel trap. When the big day arrived and we asked him where he would like to go to for lunch on his birthday, without missing a beat, the answer came right back to us. I want to go to Hooters. <laughs> oh, Holy hell. <laughs> we caved. We went to Hooters for lunch. Why did we do this? <laughs> because we figured once he actually got to eat there, the mystery would wear off and he might get it out of his system. So we decided to test the theory. Upon arriving at Hooters, there were several surfers outside hula hooping. <laughs> Our older son looked about as comfortable with them as I am around clowns. <laughs> we walked quickly past to our table inside. Josh did not want us to mention to the Hooters girls, women, girls. <laughs> He didn't want them knowing it was his birthday. He just wanted to order some steamed shrimp, wings, watch soccer on the big screen TVs. At one point, two of the servers came over and asked our sons about what grades they were in and where they go to school. The conversation turned to SOLs, the standardized testing we have in Virginia, and how one of the servers still remembers the pressure of taking those damn tests in sixth grade. She is now attending George Mason University where she is studying to become a teacher. Although, when she was telling us about her career aspirations, I'm fairly confident my, son, my husband was experiencing a serious Van Halen-inspired flashback <laughs> to 1984's Hot for Teacher. <laughs> Our food arrived, the servers left, and Josh sounded disappointed. I think hooters are small. A funny choking sound emanated from his dad. <laughs> this is probably the time where I should mention that there are those instances where kids will say one thing and often mean another. So a follow-up question might be in order. I asked Josh, what, what do you mean small? <laughs> What's small? <laughs> and he answered, I thought it would be bigger inside this place. It's not very big here. I thought it would be a really big building on the inside. My husband shot me a grateful look. It conveyed, 
Glad we got clarification on that point. <laughs> Otherwise, it could have been a very different conversation. <laughs> kind of like that joke about the seven-year-old who asks his parents, where did I come from? And his parents sit him down on the living room couch. They get out every book on the topic they've spent years collecting just for this moment. They go out and they hash out every bird and bee detail they think their son should know about sexual attraction and reproduction. After about an hour or so of painstakingly going over it all, the parents ask their little boy, now does that answer your question? Their son gives them a quizzical look and says, not really. The new kid in our class says he's from New Jersey. I wanted to know where I came from. <laughs> So I guess it's a really good thing that I found out where Josh was coming from before his dad and I started to explain development <laughs> while we devoured chicken wings as a family. <laughs> Is one lunch going to undo all of what we have taught our sons about feminism? Nah. In fact, the visit only underscored what we have taught our sons. Respect the choices and decisions of other people, even if you may not make the same ones or we may not make the same ones in our own family as for the skimpy uniforms. The truth is my sons have seen far more revealing bathing suits on girls and women at the neighborhood pool and at the beach. Okay, I'm not saying that the uniforms are that great and satisfactory to me. I'm not a fan of them by any means, but they are hardly the most risque things my sons have ever seen or laid their eyes on. In fact, Mitch still remembers our Disney cruise, which stopped at St. Martin. He refers to that beach as the naked people place. <laughs> and he was four and a half years old at the time. Will we be adding Hooters to the regular eateries we flock to as a family? No, it's a chain, and we prefer to support local restaurants. <laughs> For now, I think we're done with Hooters. But ask me again when Josh hits high school, because at that point in his life, I suspect he and his friends will be talking about Hooters a lot more often. <laughs>